Welcome to Velocity This Week. It's Tuesday, January 9th, 2024. My name is Christopher Durham. This is our weekly look inside the world of retailer-owned brand news with a healthy dose of insights and opinions. Thanks, of course, for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe. In our first story, just off the wire, as they say, Kroger Albertson's merger is delayed. The merger between two of the biggest grocery store chains in the United States will not be finalized in March, as previously announced. In a joint statement by Kroger, Albertsons, and CNS Wholesale Grocers, it was revealed that the proposed merger and divestiture plan is now expected to conclude in the first half of Kroger's fiscal year 2024, which ends on August 17th. The three said in their press release, we remain in active and ongoing dialogue with the Federal Trade Commission and individual state attorneys general regarding our proposed merger and divestiture plan. We believe our merger with Albertsons and the comprehensive divestiture to CNS will result in the best outcomes for customers, associates, and our communities. In light of our continuing dialogue with the regulators, we are updating our anticipated closure timeline. We currently anticipate that the closing will occur in the first half of Kroger's fiscal 2024. While this is longer than we originally thought, we knew it was a possibility and our merger agreement and divestiture plan accounted for such potential timing. We remain committed to closing the transaction and providing the meaningful and measurable benefits that we promised when we originally announced the transaction. On October 13, 2022, Albertsons entered a merger agreement with Kroger. As a part of the planned merger, both companies entered into a definitive agreement with CNS to sell select stores, banners, distribution centers, offices, and five private brands to CNS. The retailer-owned brands involved in the transaction with CNS include Debbie Lilly Design, Primo Taglio, Open Nature, Ready Meals, and Waterfront Bistro. In our next story, office supply retailer Staples introduces a new break room brand. Staples in the U.S. has launched a new break room retailer-owned brand. The new drinks and snacks private brand is called Pick Me Up Provisions and was successfully launched this past week with the debut of three exclusive K-Cup coffee flavors, Breakfast Blend, Colombian, and French Roast. Customers can now energize their break rooms with feel-good drinks and quality ingredients. And if you follow anyone from Staples on, on LinkedIn, you've seen them really excited about the launch. Congratulations, Staples. Store Brands Magazine eliminates the magazine, or honestly, they stopped printing. Late last month, Store Brands, a trade publication in the private brand industry, announced that it would discontinue its print magazine. However, the publisher of the magazine, Chicago-based Ensemble IQ, will continue to operate the Store Brands Today digital newsletter. This move marks the end of a 45-year history of the print magazine in the retailer-owned brand industry. Private Label Magazine was the predecessor of Store Brands Magazine. It began publishing in 1978. In October 2012, Stagnito Media, which is now called Ensemble IQ, acquired Private Label Magazine from E.W. Williams Publications Company and later merged it with Store Brands. The trade magazine has a rich history that includes two private label Hall of Fame inductees, the pioneering publisher E.W. Williams, and Phil Fitzell, who was the original editor and served for almost 13 years, not to mention Phil Russo, the longtime publisher, who currently runs the last remaining U.S.-based private brand print trade publication, Global Retail Brands Magazine. Another story on Albertsons, this time a little more fun. Albertsons announced this week the launch of their newest retailer-owned brand innovation, the Signature Select Mix and Match Meal Solution. Designed to save customers time both in store and in the kitchen, the new line of frozen entrees, sides, and veggies cooked together in one standard oven in about 35 minutes. Jennifer Sains, EVP and Chief Merchandising Officer of Albertsons Company, said about the launch, At Albertsons, we are committed to delivering great quality with unparalleled value and convenience. Our new signature select mix-and-match line of frozen entrees, sides, and veggies made from quality ingredients is the ultimate solution for busy families who need a simple, delicious dinner without time-consuming prep and cleanup. The new signature select mix-and-match products include five entrees, five sides, and five veggies. Personally, I look forward to trying the chicken marsala with mushrooms, Parmesan crusted potato medley and honey glazed carrots. And now we jump across the pond to the UK. Retailer Asda announced that four new and improved non alcoholic spirits will be added to their no and low retailer owned brand range as they predict to sell 420,000 units of non alcoholic beers, wines, and spirits in January. 
created with the customer in mind. The two new and two improved 0% lines are vegan and vegetarian friendly. Each alcohol-free tipple acts as the perfect substitute for alcohol favorites, from a classic gin and tonic through to a rum cocktail. New to the range is the extra special non-alcoholic dark spice spirit drink with Madagascan vanilla, mango extracts, and velvety dark spice. Alongside the extra special non-alcoholic red berries botanical spirit drink with blends of botanicals including alpine juniper, English strawberries, and Scottish raspberry fruit extracts. The improved products include extra special non-alcoholic botanical spirit drink, which is handcrafted with a blend of botanicals including alpine juniper, coriander, Sicilian lemon, and Tahitian lime fruit extracts, and the extra special non-alcoholic rhubarb and ginger botanical spirit drink, which has a blend of alpine juniper, Nigerian ginger, and temperley rhubarb in mountain mineral water. Customers who purchase the extra special non-alcoholic rhubarb and ginger botanical spirit drink will be supporting the As the Tickled Pink campaign with 10% of the price of the product donated to the breast cancer charity partners Breast Cancer Now and Coppa Feel. And our final story of the day, Wakefern to hold retailer-owned brand Snack Summit. So Keysby, New Jersey-based retailer-owned cooperative Wakefern Food Corp. will seek new items for its private brand snack portfolio at what it's calling the CraveCon 24, Indulgent Snack Summit. The summit is an open call to private label manufacturers of unique and trending snack products for potential addition to Wakefern's Bowl and Basket and Wholesome Pantry brands. Certified private label manufacturers and suppliers interested in participating in CraveCon 24 can submit an application via ArrangeMe from January 9th through January 29th. The summit is slated to take place in early May. Brian Harris, Wakefront's chief merchandising officer, said, We are excited to expand on the success of our own brand supplier summit with a fun focus this year on treats. We've enjoyed success in the snack category, including with our award-winning private label, Bowl and Basket Potato Chips. And we are excited to expand the snack category with even more delicious and decadent options. As a part of the virtual event, Wakefront is inviting manufacturers' submissions from such snack options as cookies, brownies, salty snacks, crackers, meat snacks, snack nuts, seeds, dried fruits, salsas and dips, snack cakes, pies, Snack bars, bites, nut butters, jams, baking mixes, and ingredients, and cereal and granola. All the tasty stuff. We like to close up with telling you a little bit about what we have going on. Of course, the Vertex Awards is open. Please enter today. The Vertex Awards will close on January 31st, and the deadline will not be extended. If you would like to judge yourself against the best private brand design in the world, this is the place to do it. Please enter today vertexawards.org. We've published our complete event calendar for 2024. There's 10 in total and are now looking for retail speakers. If you're an executive at a retailer with a private brand store to tell, we would love to give you the Velocity stage. And of course, sponsorships and booths are currently available. Build your private brand business and increase your brand awareness with a sponsorship. Packages include an event and online branding, social media, event tickets, sampling, and maybe even speaking on the Velocity stage. Our first event will be the Velocity Institute Private Brand and AI Summit, February 21st, 2024. It's an absolutely free virtual event. Retailer-owned brands are at an inflection point with AI. Retail executives no longer consider AI the future, but are asking their teams how they'll deliver AI to be smarter, faster, and more customer-centric. Join us to hear from industry thought leaders and challengers to learn where the industry is going and how retailer and its brands deliver on the promise of AI. Next up, we'll have another virtual event, the Velocity Institute Innovate 24. This is our third year for the event, and we will focus on the future of private brand manufacturing and product development. The event will be March 27th, 2024, and of course, it'll also be free. We follow that in May with our 7th Annual Velocity Conference and Expo, which will once again be here in Charlotte, North Carolina, this time at the Sheraton Hotel. Sponsors and booths are now available as well as tickets, so give us a call or go online and register. Thanks for joining me for Velocity this week. If you would like to stay up to date with the world of retailer-owned brands, hit the subscribe button. I'm Christopher Durham for Velocity Institute this week.